Assalamu alaikum, Musab Veer here and in this video we are going to see how to check internet connectivity in a Flutter application I have created this new project and it is not mandatory you can add this functionality to your existing app as well so for that we are going to use a dependency open up your favorite browser and go to pub.dev and here we have to search for connectivity plus package and this is the package which we need for this functionality so simply copy and go to your app pubspec.yml file and under dependency we have to add this and of course don't forget to run this flutter pub get command and once it's done then we go to our main file and I'm gonna add this functionality into my home page screen because this is the default application and as you may know in default application we have floating action button which actually increase uh, counter value I think it's taking more than uh, more than usually it takes and I think it's done here so now first of all I need actually connectivity object so I'm gonna create that object here so let's just create a final connectivity object and this connectivity object coming from the package we have just uh, actually added and after that uh, we need a method we, which can check connectivity so I'm gonna create a method which will be check connectivity and it will be an asynchronous and here we're gonna use this object and it has check connectivity method as well don't confuse with the same name so this is my method and this is uh, method in this connectivity object or in this class and as you can see this uh, method return a list of uh, connectivity results so we have to store these results so we can save in this variable and it has to await results okay now uh, we have to have something which uh, we shows over here on the UI uh, that either uh, the what is the connectivity status so for that I'm gonna have a bool and let's say is connected and and by default uh, let's make this false and now inside here we have result so uh, we can write a condition here but before writing the condition uh, I want to show you that this connectivity results is nothing but an enum so every connectivity result would be one of these and as you can see uh, the none value uh, it says that device not connected to any network so whenever the none value is in the result then it means the device is not connected so we're gonna use this value only okay so let's say uh, we want to store this connected well in this variable so I'm gonna say is connected and I'm gonna say if results dot contains connectivity result dot none so if it contain connectivity dot none that means that it is not connected to any network so I'm gonna put uh, inverse so then it will map correctly to is connected variable okay so I think we have to put this in a set state so that it also update the state and that is it uh, now we have to use this connectivity check connectivity method and is connected so I'm gonna use here just simply remove this and you're gonna see if is connected then we're gonna say that connected and otherwise we'll say not connected not 
not connected huh? just make these constants okay that's it now we have to call method so we can use this floating action button so we'll say check connectivity and here we have this plus icon so we can change this to wi-fi so it somehow it resembles through the network okay i think we are done here so we don't need these so we can remove this yeah i think we are done now we have to run this and see if this uh, this is working fine or not so i'm gonna go and run uh, the emulator and it will take some time so i'm gonna pause video here and then i'm gonna resume once it's set up so the app is up and running and as you can see it says not connected because we have said this is connected false by default and if i let me see if this device is connected okay so device is also not connected so let's just connect to the internet and i think it's connected now and we can test this uh, by tapping on this floating action button and as you can see it changed to connected so it means our functionality working fine so let's just test one more time and then now let's just turn off and then tab on this button again and not connected so so far so good so this function is working fine but as you can see we cannot right click on this button again and again just to check if the device is connected or not uh, inside our app so what we need is we need this function uh, but we need something else as well so this uh, connectivity package also has a stream subscription so which will uh, has a callback which trigger every time when the connectivity uh, status changes so let's just add that as well so for that we're gonna need a stream subscription so let's just have stream subscription sorry subscription okay so let's say it is a connectivity stream and we have to make this late and final I don't know why I'm doing these mistakes okay I think it is good now we need uh, we have to add in it state method and here we're gonna initialize our stream so connectivity stream and we're going to use connectivity object dot on connectivity change and then we have to listen and as you can see this method also return a list of list of connectivity results okay so actually we're going to have this here it is a callback function which return results and I guess we can use this same logic here as well so I'm gonna copy this and put it here and that's it now one thing which is missing we have to actually we have started a stream and we have to cancel the stream as well inside dispose method and it is very important because yeah, it it will save us from a memory leakage. Connectivity stream dot cancel. I don't know why I'm making these silly mistakes. Okay, it's good. Okay, now it will work fine. So for the first time, we have to call this method, and it will get the whatever the connectivity status status is. And after that time, because this method will only trigger when the connectivity state has changed so for the first time we have to call this method so what i say that instead of manually calling this method from this floating action button i just want to get rid of this floating action button actually because in real application you will not do this instead what we'll do we'll call this function from the init state so the, fir the first time it will 
check and set the status of uh, device connectivity and after that whenever that status changes then this on connectivity change method will trigger and it will update the status here uh, now I think that is all what we need to do and now I'm gonna quit this app and run this app again so just to see if everything is working good or not okay so let's just do that and as you can see it says not connected and if I check uh, the device is not connected okay now if I change device connectivity status and you can see it is updated now let's just check one more time voila you can see it also updated here as well okay so far so good so we have learned like how to check connectivity and then we have also learned how to uh, start a stream and it will listen and update the ui currently we are updating ui on the home screen but there is another use case uh, like you don't want to uh, connect this connectivity thing to a particular page but rather you want your uh, the connectivity should globally uh, implemented and whenever the device is not connected there should be some snack bar this is very common use case and now we can look into it for that what we have to do is we have to actually uh, remove this code from this home screen and we'll have to move up to this uh, my app uh, my app class so first of all we have to convert this stateless widget into stateful widget and after that we have to actually copy all of, all, all of the code from here so simply copy everything and not copy but rather cut this code because it is not required there anymore okay now paste here and we'll have also we have to also remove this and actually we can have one text field and we'll say it is a home page and we have to make it constant and we have removed everything from home page and now we are in our uh, my app state and uh, basically we don't want to set state here but rather we want to show a snack bar so we'll remove this set state and this is connected is not required anymore and actually uh, we want to show snack bar and because we are uh, above my app so we cannot use context of this material app so we have to uh, declare a global uh, global navigator key so that we can use is uh, that context okay so we'll say global key and it will be navigator state navigator state and we'll say navigator key then simply gonna copy this because we need object of this class and that's it and then we have to pass this navigator key to our material app so here is a parameter for navigator key so we'll have to pass here and after that what we have to do actually we can uh, we don't need this check connectivity method as well i recently discovered that this uh, uh, this method will trigger every time so we don't need that method and here will here we can uh, actually we can add another method which will be handle handle res result okay and it will take this list of results okay and actually we can remove this and we can directly pass handle results like this okay and then first of all we'll check if uh, the navigator key dot current context is not null okay because it is required to show snack bar after that we'll check if uh, the results the same way it if it contains the connectivity results dot none 
then it means it is not connected to any network so we want to show snack bar here for that we're gonna use uh, scaffold messenger dot of context and here instead of context we're gonna pass our navigator key dot current current context okay and then we want to show snack bar and here we have to pass a snack bar and for one for content we're gonna pass a text and we'll say no internet available no internet available okay and actually we have to also pass the duration so by default it it actually disappeared itself after few seconds but we don't want uh, that uh, we want to stay it as long as possible so I'm gonna pass it uh, duration uh, one day so that it doesn't disappear itself okay and we can also actually pass background color and let's just pass a red background color and we can make this constant as well and otherwise if uh, the device is connected then what we want to do is we want to uh, actually hide the snack bar I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna say players snack bars and that is it I think it will work perfectly fine uh, let me kill the app and run it again and because we have implemented this functionality to my app so it is not dependent to any screen now so uh, you it will work globally and it will it doesn't matter uh, on which screen you are it will uh, work everywhere the same and let me check if the internet is connected or not okay so as you can see it says no internet available and i think internet is not connected yes the internet was not connected so let's just connect to internet and uh, the snack bar is gone let's just check one more time yeah as you can see it is working perfectly fine and that is it for this video and i hope you learned how connectivity works in a flutter application and if you want you can get this code from repository link is in the description and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one